Hello, my name is Juniper Belmont, and in this video, you'll learn about Web Push. Web Push is a new API for sending notifications to your web application. In this video, you'll learn what Web Push is, how Web Push works, and I'll show you an example of implementing Web Push in your own application, at least in a basic way. Firstly, what is Web Push? Web Push allows you to send background notifications to your web app. It provides up to date information sent by the server to your application. And these notifications appear just like any native notifications that you have installed. And with notification actions, you have instant re-engagements. So like in this example, you can authorize whether you made this purchase or not directly from the notification. The best notifications follow this rubric. They should be timely and appear exactly when they're necessary for the user. They should be relevant, something that's important for the user to see right away. And they should be precise. Instead of sending you have a new message, send, you have a new message from this person, and maybe give a short blurb. So how does Web Push work? Web Push relies on service workers, which also powers other progressive web app features. Notifications are pushed from the server to the client. Notifications are entirely opt-in, so users only see notifications that they want. And notifications are encrypted from end to end, so only the server and the user can see what they have. And notifications require HTTPS. The service worker is what enables web push. The service worker runs in the background of the local application, so it's installed and it wakes up when is needed. It receives the push and displays it for the client. And it also handles the interaction with the notification, such as being able to click on a notification action and being directed directly into the app. Not all platforms support web push. Currently, only Chrome, Firefox, and Opera support web push. Now let's look at a basic example implementing web push. We'll start with the Polymer CLI creating a blank application, and then we'll serve it so that we have it locally. We start by adding a script to our application. And then in this script, we ask if the service worker is available. And then when the page is loaded, we register the service worker. So the service worker will be registered to this application. And then after that, we send to a push setup function, which I'll write next. In the push setup function, First, we'll wait for the service worker to be ready, and then we'll run a new function using that service worker registration, which corresponds to the service worker for this application. We'll subscribe to the service worker's push manager, which enables push notifications for this application. And then we can use the subscription to do whatever. Here is where you would send it to a server so that the server knows what the subscription endpoint is, and also where you save the subscription object so that the user can unsubscribe. Lastly, let's go to the service worker. All we need to do is listen to the push event and then show a notification. Let's hop over to Firefox to see what our application does. So we'll navigate to our local application and right away we're being asked if we want to allow notifications. This same kind of dialogue will happen on any platform. So we'll just allow right now. And to send push notifications without a server, we can go to debugging mode of Firefox. And here we have our service worker running and we can just click push and you see our push notification appears. That's all for this example, but there's a lot more that needs to be done to enable push in a real application. So we need to create cryptographic keys to ensure that the server and the client are the, exactly who they say they are. We need to save that subscription to the server so the server knows the endpoint of our client. We need to be able to send a push to the browser using our server. And then we handle notification actions using the service worker. Thanks for watching. In the description, you'll find a list of resources and videos that you could use to learn more about Web Push.